<laughs> but he shut up. Man, I don't care about what he said in chat right now, man. I just sat up here and I heard the craziest diss track by it, Alicia Bumgarner. Uh, no, this from this from Clarissa <laughs> Shell to Alicia Bumgarner. I mean, that's crazy. I know that y'all came here for the Canelo Alvarez um bash, sure. but y'all gotta listen to this first. Just, 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 just uh, y'all just y'all let yeah, me know. Take, take me At least you come harder. You reap what you. Hold on. So nothing but a bum garden hater. Hater. Even on your best day, you couldn't hurt me. What I look like cutting thirty for a bitch that dropped dirty, nigga. Yeah, go. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Play it again. What's Play going? Again. I'm not. Oh, Play man. it again. <laughs> At least you come harder. You reap what you sow. Nothing but a bum garden hater. Hater. Even on your best day, hater. you couldn't hurt me. What I look like cutting thirty for a bitch that dropped dirty, nigga. Yeah, go. Hater. I am. I am so done. Yo, <laughs> why? Why? Why do Clarissa Shield got auntie vibes all in the video? You just. Yeah. You just. Nobody by now, or my nieces or my nephews out here. It's like, come on, man. that's not how it's supposed to be. Hey, it, it's hey, you, know, about, you know, know what people didn't even catch though? She really, right. she really thought she had a bar. She said, Alicia, come harder. She tried to throw her name in there. Alicia, Alicia. You get, you get, she thought no, she, I, I didn't <laughs> you didn't even no. catch it. <laughs> I didn't catch it. I'm so dumbfounded. Man, the song, the full song is, is Just hard. listen, it's listen, hard. listen. Clarissa Shield, come on home, man. We in the 30s club. Just come on home. Just cut it out. She tried to do that twirl and tried to show, show the, like, come on, man. You got the auntie booty, man. Let's just, let's, let's cut it out at this point. You know, Clarissa, you're a beautiful woman. Have some class. Just come on home. You know, now, first of all, it ain't even that she don't got the shape. It's that dumb suit she had on, that tight old. I'm telling you, that, it was. That, yo, that that's that's the that's the the era that she come from. You know what I'm saying? Like she need to cut it out. Oh, <laughs> let me see that. You know what I mean? That's her era. She just need to sit down somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it's but anyways. Bad. <clears throat> but anyways, a salute, salute chat to everybody that's uh, that's inside, that's watching us on that morning drive. Um, we're going to get into the show today. We have Canelo Alvarez, tripping as always. That's definitely Sean's favorite fighter that we're going to cover. But no doubt. I, I always think it's funny that when a fighter is doing something in the sport of boxing and when it's inside the sport of boxing with the fans and the fighters, then that's one thing. But when it gets outside of the sport of boxing, then you got to pay attention to it. For more about that, let's go ahead and watch this clip and then we're going to break it down. Anybody who knows boxing, everybody who watches boxing knows that David Benavidez is the real deal. That's a fact. Now, that doesn't mean he'd beat you because anybody could fall if you catch him right. We know who you are, Canelo. You big time. But you getting ready to fight. And Goa, listen, the brother's 43 and 0. So he's a nice opponent. But that ain't what America has been asking for. That ain't what the boxing world has been asking for. The boxing world, Canelo Alvarez, has been asking you to go in the ring against David Benavidez, <laughs> who's undefeated, a knockout artist, has smoked everybody in his path. He's undefeated, and he's been asking for you. And oh, by the way, Canelo Alvarez, you could get $150 million for fighting David Benavidez. Mm. The Latino population alone will ensure that you get that fight. Yo, we all know it. And you don't get to say that when you just finished fighting Charlo. The Charlo that was two weight divisions lighter than you. Woo! You don't get to say something like that. You don't get to say he's nothing, he's nothing, he's nothing. He happens to be a champion who's a knockout artist who's undefeated at your weight class as opposed to two weight classes smaller like Jamal Charlo was. Hey, man, this is Thursday. I didn't know this was boxing preaching Sunday. This this man, <laughs> hey, he's taking us to church right now, man. Let's go. <laughs> <Amen>. <laughs> Verse 1, chapter 2. <laughs> Jamal Charlo, that's, that's what it is. <laughs> you fought him. He fights at 154. You fight at 168, but you still got in the ring with him. Why won't you get in the ring with David Benavides? Again, I'm not saying you'd lose. What I'm saying is there's a damn good chance you could. 
And if you could, that makes it for an epic fight. Everybody wants to see you against David Benavidez. Everybody. Don't do that to us. If you want to make him wait and say, I want to make this money. <laughs> Don't do that to us. Hold on, I gotta run out. I, I gotta I'm to see you against David Benavidez. Everybody. Don't do that to us. If you want to make him wait and say, I want to make this money, fine. Even though you've made gobs and gobs of money and the contingent will follow you wherever you go because you're that big time, you're that box office. For sure. You fought Baval. Who was asking for that? Nobody cared about that fight. Nope. You getting ready for him and go. A lot of people ain't clamoring for that. Nobody is. When you decided to fight, fight Charlo, people weren't clamoring for that. A little bit. <laughs> we want bit. Canelo like, Alvarez like, versus David Benavidez. <laughs> and for respect for the sport, which I know you have, Canelo. I'm not accusing you of not having that. <laughs> but for respect for the sport, at least talk about giving that Mexican monster, which is what Mike Tyson calls him, a chance. Say what you will about Iron Mike. He is 57, bro. He is the former undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. This is true. And the only time Mike Tyson didn't fight people was when they were running from him. Uh, he ran from no one. That's a fact. Canelo Alvarez. You are elite. You are big time. No doubt about that. But it is clear with what you're saying that you are ducking Benavidez. Not because you haven't fight him, but because of the words that you're using. He used a great sin word in boxing. Hmm. Ducking. Ducking. He's nothing? Oh, he's ducking for sure. He's nothing? You know better. You know better. Fight <laughs> that man. That is the fight we want to see with you. We don't want to see a fourth fight versus Triple G. We don't want to see you fight another one of the Charlos. We don't want to see Terrence Crawford moving up three weight classes to fight you. We want you to fight right where you are against that dude in your weight division who's been begging for a shot at the crown. And Sugar Ray's name. Lace them and up. And this is how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I feel. This is how I feel. <laughs> Don't do that to us. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> That's got, how I feel, bro. For people, for people that's driving and, and can't see, he got a picture of Will Smith at the Red Talk table yeah. when Jada Pinkett had told him that she had an affair at August I'll see him. <laughs> That's the picture. Hey, that's how I feel right now, man. Like, <laughs> he said, "He said, don't do that to us." <laughs> but for real, on the serious note, bro, like, hey, Stephen A. was really said everything every boxing fan, every true boxing fan, <laughs> feel, and they and they so like every boxing fan feel the same. Like he just spoke for everyone. I don't care who you is, if you know boxing, he just spoke for everyone. Like, bro. David Benavidez was the champion already. He got his belt stripped. It's like he's a big name. He's headline cards. He's got pay-per-views. Like, what do you mean it's nothing that he's done? And he's an exciting fighter that everyone would love to see fight, regardless if he's fighting you. Everybody wants to see David Benavidez fight. So imagine both of y'all, the two biggest Mexican fighters in boxing, fighting each other. Bro, they will break – they will break – um, Gervonta and um, Ryan Garcia's, they would break their record in pay per view. Easy, spot. easy. Because you got to think about it. What, what did um, Charlo and Canelo do? I think they did like five, six hundred thousand, if I'm not mistaken. It yeah, was it somewhere was, it was around like there. there. It was like, it, it was somewhere around there. But you got to look at Canelo Alvarez's floor. His mm -hmm. floor is five hundred thousand. So exactly. if his floor is five hundred thousand in pay per view sales um, and in buys. Like, just imagine everybody see the talent with mm -hmm. David Benavidez. Everybody see that he's a rising star. That like you like you alluded to before, he did get his belt taken up a scale. He did mm -hmm. indulge in ec extracurricular activities that he shouldn't have had, right? With with um, with some substances that he shouldn't have had, right? That was banned in the sport of boxing. But so, he so bounced back. <clears throat> so did Canelo, but he bounced back. 
um, he he showed that he is a true champion at heart, and he should have an opportunity to not only win his title back, exactly. but for the undisputed crown at the 168 division. Exactly. division. So, I, I mean, I, I honestly understand what, what Stephen A. Smith is talking about. I understand mm -hmm. his frustration, and I agree with him 1,000%. Yeah, for sure. So like, that be Hold on, one, one, one last thing, like, you know what? Go ahead. Let's get on. We got other things that's, that I want to talk about more. Now, for sure. So with that being said, let's uh, let's go to the next clip. But before we go to this next clip, make sure you all shuffle over to the like button, punch it, and then left hook to subscribe for more knockout content. We appreciate you guys. Thank you. I know San Jose ain't the Bay, Sac, all that thing considered the Bay, but you know what I'm saying? I fuck with the whole Northern California, you know? For sure. Growing up, did you want to be like your dad? Is that what like was nah, major I, boxing? No, nah, my pops was in the streets. And um, I didn't. That's one thing I didn't want to do. Like, my brother fell to the streets. My my pops was in the streets, and I wanted to like break the cycle. I wanted to do something different. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't like they just was like some like ordinary regular Joe blows. They was big in the streets. They was you know what I'm saying like most most kids to see them and be like, oh yeah, like that's what I want to do. But mm. I was like, nah. I I was living in Vegas, and I I would watch Floyd. I'm like, I would see him. He'd come in with Bugattis, cars, women, mm. money. All that shit, and I'll be like, "Damn, like that's what I want to be. Like, I want to be him." Like I see yeah. my pops, I'm like, "Oh yeah, he he ain't doing nothing." Once I seen Floyd, so yeah. um, that's what I set out to do. I wanted to 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 be a great in the sport, and I wanted to have what Floyd had. Mm -hmm. So, you fuck with Floyd? Yeah, I fuck with him. So let's. Let, I would love to break that down, right? Mm -hmm. What he just said that that's actually. It's, it's a fool for thought, right? Because he was so used to a certain level of mm -hmm. what his dad provided. Now, from his words, from the pictures that Bill Haney has showed and from what other boxers had alluded to, that devil was really spoiled. Bill really had some money. He had a lot of money. Um, doing what? I don't know. Once somebody say they was in the streets, I'm thinking all activities that... All that, the above. All the above, right? So I, I don't know. But... It seemed like Devil was used to a certain style to where it will have had taken on Floyd Mayweather to pretty much pique his interest. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? For, for that, even to, to because he's so used to to, to the Bentleys, the Rolls Royce from his father, but he never seen the Bugatti variants. He never seen, you know, somebody being on TV making a hundred million dollars. And that that that's a complete different yeah. you know, world to him because to to him. The average, you know, street dude, a street uh, or a street guy wanted to be his father, but he lived with his father and he seen his brother full time. Yeah, that's what stuck out to me. He seen, yeah, he seen the ins and outs, but on the other side, he's seen the full spectrum. That it's a totally different type of bag over here, or type of respect or hard work or just think like the thing that that tell you a lot about how he was as a kid as a mindset to already yeah. like that. You know what I'm saying? To think yeah, one thousand percent more. I don't even. This ain't even it. Like. And then I, what does that say think. about Bill for him to allow his son to see exactly. another person like that and then to cling on to grab on to that in order to be able to pursue his dreams mm -hmm. while while you know what I'm saying while not trying to say, oh no, you should look up to me. Yeah. You should look up to me. I gotta yeah. be the, you know, pretty that's much the, the apple of your eye when it's yeah, comes that's down good. To that's good qualities as a dad. Every I've heard every every good father that I've heard, my father has always said, I don't want you to be like me, I want you to be better than me. And For sure. that's exactly what Bill's mindset is towards raising his children, or not even Devin, just all of them. For sure. Let's continue. <clears throat> Why well, such a short answer? <laughs> no, I just, I, I just, I, I'm just I'm here to ask the questions no, you answer. You know? I love Floyd. Floyd's a legend mm -hmm. in the sport of boxing. Is Floyd the best boxer ever? I mean, it's all opinionated, really. Mm -hmm. Um He's one. He's 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 one of the best boxers ever. But me personally, I would say you know Sugar Ray Robinson or like Ali. But it's 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 all opinionated. It's, it depends what you like. I think anything with a statistical base is opinionated. Yeah. Because somebody might have more rebounds, but then he more aggressive. Mm -hmm. Somebody mm -hmm. might punch harder, but then yeah. he has more technique. Yeah. So it's opinionated. I'm Mike Tyson. <laughs> Get it over with. Your blink is over with. Yeah. You know what I mean. And when I watch your fights, I'm like, I, I feel like sometimes you holding back from just knocking the motherfucker yeah. out. You know, and I ain't in the yeah. ring. And no, I'm just sure. here talking out my ass because it's probably a different story inside the ring moving around. Nah, I'd right. be like, don't hold back, man. Fuck him up. Nah, Strategy. Yeah, exactly. Strategy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. it's, it's 
Yeah, but that is the mindset of a lot of casuals too. So Devin needs to take this in because a lot of people feel that sentiment. It's not only just casuals, be honest with you. There's boxing fans and true boxing fans see that Devin has someone hurt and they want to see him have that killer instinct and finish and finish his food. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Let's go ahead though. It's, it's more I want to get to. No, for sure. You a farter, nigga. You know, like, nigga, you make the wrong move, and then your ass is grass. Nigga. That's, that's it's, true. The, it's the sweet science, and the name of the game is to hit and not get hit. And uh, we've seen guys like, you know, I don't knock no no champion uh, ever, but we've seen guys like Mike Tyson. We've seen him go get motherfuckers, right? Mm -hmm. But we've seen him get got, too. You seen, I mean, you haven't really seen Floyd go get nobody, right? You haven't really seen Floyd knock nobody out, have you? In the early stages of yeah. Floyd's career, well, who, I feel who like. you seen him knock out? Oh, that is true. Yeah, you're right. You got me. <laughs> right. I mean, I'm so, just saying he was more aggressive in the yeah, early yeah, stages. Well, yeah. I'm talking about, you know, on the elite oh, level, Floyd. at the elite okay, level. Yeah, right. We never really seen Floyd, you know, really knock nobody out, but we ain't seen nobody knock him out neither. Mm -hmm. so we can't say the same about a guy named Mike, like a guy like Mike Tyson. Mm -hmm. So it's just really what you like, but, you know, I'm, I want to be all time great. And when, when it's all said and done, I want to be able to, you know, be with my family and have, have everything together. You, know? you don't want to get that. I want to be able to. Enjoy, I want to be able to enjoy my money, enjoy my life, enjoy my success. I think you're on the right path. You know, 31 and 0. Shit. Yeah, yeah. You know me personally. I'm two and 24. <laughs> yeah, I'm two and 24. And what, man? And fighting. <laughs> man. 24 niggas had me figured out. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> I'm not finna do this. I'm not finna do this. What's your, what's your record, Sean? What's your record out here in these streets, Sean? <laughs> I'm one and one. I'm one and no, one. one, and one. <laughs> they knew I couldn't fight. Two niggas didn't. They ain't even see it coming. Oh, two niggas got it, man. <laughs> two, niggas, yeah, two niggas didn't see it coming. Hell no, I ain't losing no fights in jail. I ain't gonna no, lie. the nigga here with the jab in jail. That's what we oh, yeah, that too. was the one. He ain't see it coming. Yeah, yeah. Silly boy. <laughs> Like I ain't gonna lie, I lost like one fight in high school. But nah, I'm two and one. I'm two and one. You gotta be thinking about it now. I'm two and one. But yo, I'm two and one. No bad. <laughs> hey, but look, what I wanna say about Devin though, like, <laughs> like I I understand, like, you know, they talking about the strategy, you know, mm -hmm. that's Devin's mm -hmm. mindset when he get in the ring, is just strategy, right? But it seemed like this is this is kind of what I was talking about before. It's like the the mindset of these new fighters is not the same at all. Like they too privileged. Like they they get they get too much of what they want regardless of what they do, right? To where mm. it's like I don't got to do that. I'm just in here to get my check. Like no, like bro, you're an entertainer at the end of the day. Like it it is just it's just something I don't I don't like that about Devin because I know Devin has way more. Like also with Shakur and Tank, but we seen them do it more more than Devin has. It's like Devin, he just sticking to it. He don't care. Super disciplined. I'm sticking to this jab. <laughs> I'm gonna throw that right hand. I'm gonna throw it right hand to the body, and that's it. As long as I get the job done, I'm good. And that that that's that's my biggest critique of him. It's like he's just cool with getting the job done regularly. No putting, not putting no excitement. It's like. He says that he has a bunch of fun in the ring, but it doesn't come out and show how much fun he has in the ring in mm -hmm. his big fights. You get what I'm saying? Because yeah, he, he, he looks fighting. serious when he's in the ring. He looks like a yeah. like a sniper. He's a sharpshooter. It looks like yeah, he's ultra focused. All the best um, inside fighters. Of the ring. Say, yeah, all the best fighters say they have fun in that ring, but it don't even look like it. Boots. The the you one that, that looked like he having fun is core in boots. True. Shakur and Boots look like they have having back. fun. Yeah. Crawford looked like he has fun. You know? Yeah. Like, <clears throat> we've actually seen them do different, like, move. you know, just to tell. Right. Like, they in they, they in their groove. Like, with Devin, it's just it's, what, what they yeah. say, manufactured. Absolutely. <laughs> Perfect word for him. Manufactured. He's just a machine and just going to get it done. Uh, but that's that's what I like about that. Like, his his seriousness. That, 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 I believe that that is a killer. Um. Uh, that 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 do make him a killer because he ultra focused. He's ultra focused, you know. No different than you know, no different than a uh, uh, um, a predator stalking his prey. He's like they super super laser focused. This is yeah, they get interesting they get the kill it's, though, right? It's something interesting though. for me to um to, to watch. Yeah, they get the kill, but he get the win. You see what I'm saying? So it's still but not it, the kill, but not the kill. Okay, so you said Shakur did it more times. You know, than him, he did it against Jamel Heron, and he did it against Yoshino, 
right? I can give you, I, I can give you that um, tank, but it took people. Well, not with really with Shakur. With Tank, it took him to fight Isak Cruz for me to see his boxing ability on the back foot and lateral movements and stuff like that at, at this age and for me to love it to that degree. But because that, that's a false narrative with Tank. We've seen Tank box before. We No, we, no, uh, no I'm not saying it's a narrative. What I'm saying is uh, uh, as of recent, as of late, he hasn't been doing it. I'm not talking about in the days of Pedraza because he'll come forward, he'll throw, he'll throw many of punches. He will, he will, he no, will put it on you. No, I'm right? saying what I'm saying is it's a false narrative that we haven't seen Tank box as well as he did until Isaac Cruz. That's what you're saying, right? No, no, no. I said for me mm -hmm. that when I seen Isaac Cruz pull that out of him, mm -hmm. it became exciting for me because he had to go and pull his other tools out. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? So that's when I like because I started getting into the groove of you know Tank just knocking you know knocking individuals out. That's why I started to get into the groove of. Mm -hmm. But then, but then you start to, even when he went back and forth with Hector Garcia, that was that was fun for me. That was that's my favorite Tank fight. No, it was it was fun for me to see that. So I'm saying it, it takes certain fighters and certain styles to pull certain True. things out of people. So I think that Devin needs to find that but, individual that's going to pull the, the those other things out of him because we definitely want to see them. So to you know to challenge that, mm -hmm. Cambosis, you don't think no, boxing don't twelve? Hold on, hold on, boxing twelve rounds with someone, the first mm -hmm. fight. Okay, you became undisputed. You got the job done. Well, cool. Congratulations. Clap, clap, clap. Right. Mm -hmm. The second fight, you already been in there with the guy 12 rounds. You know he ain't got nothing for you. And you telling me you still couldn't stop him? You don't think oh, you're talking, oh, you're talking about dead. You're talking about dead been in that 12 rounds with Cambosis. Yeah. Now 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 that now that and is nothing, uh and, and Cambosis didn't bring nothing out of Devin that the second so, fight to stop him. So what what did you want to see from Dev in the second fight with Campbell? Because I, I felt I like he did open him. up more. You wanted, wanted him to stop, stop him. It didn't have to be. It didn't have to be a cold knockout. Nothing. It just the, the fight should have been stopped by eight. You, you want you 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 want him to stop him. That's fair Get him enough. Out of there. Get I him like out that of point. There. It's a fair point because in in, in the first um, George Campbell's, <clears throat> you we all seen that it was a it, it couldn't have been a more clear decision in boxing. The biggest skill that, that <clears throat> ever. The biggest Almost, yeah, gap yeah. Gap. One of the biggest skill gaps that it wasn't. No, not close. one. The biggest. <laughs> don't, don't try to. Uh -uh. The biggest <laughs> skill gap ever. It was. It was bad. <clears throat> it was. It was absolutely bad. So I do see a world where, when you see the second fight, you want to see him get him out of there. One thousand percent. I can't disagree with that. But the second fight was pretty fun to watch. It, it was. It was definitely funner. It was. Better. Funner. It was better. He did hurt Cambosis. But then again, the same thing in Regis. He didn't get him out of there. So exactly, I, Regis as well. Regis, he should have got Regis out of there. But one thousand percent. Let's uh, let's let's continue. Let's do it. Welcome to the team. We're delighted to have you as our latest addition to the stable. Just how excited are you to announce your new promotional deal with us today? Uh, thank you guys for having me. You know, I'm excited, very excited. I can't wait to you know continue to put on uh, you know beautiful performances for you guys, and I can't wait. Uh, let's do it. I want you to go back to over six months ago now when Eddie first expressed his interest in signing you. He finally got his man, he put pen to paper on a multi-fight deal with us. Why was it Eddie and Matchroom and why was that the right promotional deal for you? Uh, I just feel like this was the, you know, the best move you know, for my career uh, this far. You know, and you know, I, like I said, I can't wait to see you know, what's, what's, what's in store. How long have talks been going on between yourself and Eddie? I think it's been going on for sort of a long time now, hasn't it? Uh, maybe a couple months, you know, just trying to figure out the right plan, you know, and, and the right things and, and uh, putting the right things behind me and stuff like that. Uh, I guess I guess it's fair to say at this stage of your career, you know, you had a lot of people scrambling to sign you as well. well that's, what was that like, kind of fielding a lot of offers? I mean, uh, when everybody coming, you know, you just got to make the right decision, you know, the, the best decision for you. And, and I feel like, like I said before, I feel like... First of all, let me say this. I'm so happy that Boots is, um, you know, he's with someone that's going to push him because... The zone absolutely have the ability to push him exact and being you know in cahoots with Turkey Al Sheik. We don't know what's in store for this young man. Like I am so yeah. glad that some light is going to be shining on Boots yeah. because because he's been in the dark for so long that only hardcore fans know about him. The this is a talent. The exactly that the fans have to. Know. He has one of the most casual 
fan friendly styles of all boxers of all boxers i do believe this and you can quote me now he is our error of roy jones jr if they allow him to be that's what i believe yeah i i'm 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 excited to see what the zone does with him though right because uh, agreed it's like boots boots is at the point where it's big fight only like big fight only like him him and shakur i feel like are in the same same exact space in their careers to where everybody knows what they can do the talent but it's it's like the promotion it's the promotion and the the team and the it's all of those other things that i i believe hold them back now with boots i just i just think he could be the biggest fighter in the world if he would talk i'm about to fall asleep I'm about yeah to that, fall asleep. that is true that, that's that's why I always wanted him to kind of, like I said, pair with Bill mm -hmm. or, or somebody that can just speak. Like you said, people are going to say he only got with Bill, so they don't fight, right? Man. But if he was to pair with Bill, man, imagine still, the stuff that Bill. Um, yo, imagine some of the stuff that would come out of Bill's mouth. We don't know what. I'm gonna be real, though. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> I know. I know. Yesterday, I said that they would pair, you know, just to try to not fight him. But I think, I think. Bill and Devin, like the 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 mindset that they they come from, I still think they would fight Boots even if they did. You know what I'm saying? Come together, because right. I right. think Devin just still wants to prove himself, and I think Bill is is gonna back his son with that regardless. But like like I told you, Dev is my Devin favorite fighter. Dev is my favorite fighter, but there's only two people that I worry about. I'm just being honest, just two, and that's Gary Anton Russell, and the other one's Boots. <laughs> Let's continue. Yeah, you tripping. But go ahead. Go ahead. This is the Those are the only two I worry about. You know, uh, for my career this far. Whilst it was going to be, you know, you're going to be boxing live on the zone. Eddie's made it public with several of his fighters that, you know, we're willing to work with anyone should it make business sense. How important was that factor in the deal for you? Uh, that was very important because, uh, like I always say, you know, I, I want to fight the best guys, you know, the top guys. And that's my goal. You know, I want to stay active and, and, and fight the uh, top guys, the best guys. I guess another appeal of fighting on the zone is, you know, we're worldwide. You can fight anywhere in the world. Is that something that appealed to you as well, the sort of global global scale of things? Uh, most definitely. With me, I don't I don't care where the fight is. The fight could be in, in, uh, in my opponent's backyard, in the living room. It don't matter where it's at. As long as I'm fighting and uh, I'm able to put on a show for the fans and, and you guys, you know, that's all that matters. I know there's issues we, we sort of can't touch upon in this interview, but in terms of your own activity, you know, it's been a year since you since you boxed. Is that important now to sort of keep that activity up? Uh, yes, that's that's important. Uh, that's the most important key. You know, staying active is important. And me being off, you know, for this time, it's not. Do you think this year is going to have some type of ring rust on on boots with the talent that he has? Because it, it has been it has been a year since the Villa fight. I, I'm, um, gonna be, I'm gonna be honest. I think Boots is like the most talented fighter, and for me, probably one or two most skilled fighters in all of boxing. But right, I do think that. He is gonna have some type of ring rust because I think I have a feeling. I just it's just my my idea. I think that Eddie is gonna start him off like with a with maybe a small fight or or a big fight, like first. Like first is gonna be a small one, then it's gonna be a big one. And I just feel like he's gonna be like kind of so, like so nervous. Eddie is he's, going he's, to, he's a nervous right. type of person. Like that's his Who? that's his personality. Boots. Ooh, you saying Boots is a nervous type of person? For sure. Boots Boots be getting nervous, bro. But that's why he don't talk, bro. Boots be getting nervous. Uh, if you watch Boots, if you watch Boots on, like for example, an interview right here, right? Then yeah. if you watch Boots on 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 they um YSM Sports, shout out to YSM, but their uh media platform, right? You like <laughs> you can tell Boots be like, like he just be thinking like he don't know what he want to say, like. You know what's it's, crazy? Because his, ring, he's his ring is to his his ring like generation. His ring mentality is the complete opposite. Exactly. It, it's it's not it's not one of nervousness. It's not one of being shy or meek or anything at all. It's like a very imposing. You know That's what I mean? His home. That's his like, home. like he he's he exactly. He's like a dragon in the ring. And we literally sit there and watch people get devoured by the combinations that he put together sure. on them. It's just, it's a spectacle. But it's just like it, I think I think the big stage is gonna get to him. I don't necessarily think his performance is gonna. I don't be know, bad. man. I, think, I just think the big stage. He needs a big stage fight before like 
he get one of them real big name names. You get what I'm saying? Like they need to see how he would do in the in Philly. You know what I'm saying? Like in his hometown at a big arena. See, like you know what I'm saying? See how so he can get comfortable with that. He hasn't been in those big stages like that. I don't feel like. Okay. Like his biggest fight was in a small ballroom. Well, he don't you know perform. what? What? He, what he fought? Perform. He fought Chuka Kawazin in where? Um, because that was that was a pretty big outing. That was that was the the, the tank fight. That was tank. That yeah, was yeah. So uh, DC. Yeah, but that but, was a that was a tough fight. A lot, like, that's, that's, a lot of people feel like that wasn't his best performance. He and, and yeah. he said himself. He said himself he was too busy worrying about putting on the show and stuff instead of just being focused. No, nah, it, it was just a, it, was, it was just one of those styles that Eastern but European he, style is he not. He admitted to himself he could have did way better, and I believe he could have did way better. He didn't cut off the ring like how no Bruce, he followed him in that fight like yeah, how Boos, like how boots did lip and nets that that's cutting right. off the ring like yeah boots, exactly. boots know what he's doing it's just like i feel like that big stage he be getting nervous because he want to do so good you know what i'm saying right like right. he just he loved the sport so much he want to do so good that's what i'm saying I, I think he need to get get back active first and th- but from there it need to be big fight after big fight because he okay. at the point in his career where it's like it's go time i feel i agree with that one thousand percent it won't affect me at all, you know, I, I can't wait to get back in the ring, you know, I'll be better than ever. Have you got a roadmap with Eddie for that sort of activity? How many times would you want to see yourself boxing, you know, this year and next year? As much as possible. <laughs> with me, I just, you know, I want to stay, stay busy, you know, stay active. I know you put on social media recently, you know, someone's going to pay. Is that, is that a sense of frustration almost that you've been out of the ring so long and yet you want to get your sort of amp to get it back in the ring? Yeah, most definitely. I just want to get myself back in the ring, you know, and like I said, somebody, somebody going to pay, no matter who it is. Can you give us any developments on with regards to who you might fight next? I know Cody Crawley was a mandatory challenger in a purse, but was previously called for that fight. Um, my next opponent, I, I'm not too sure. That was the only opponent that that, that was uh, on the line, you know, because he was supposed to be my mandatory and things like that. So uh, if it's him, it's him. Uh, I don't care who it is. Uh, I just want to get back in the ring, get back active. And like I said, uh, continue keeping on shoes and, and making my mark in this boxing game. Eddie's always talked about how important it is for our fighters to have that homecoming fight, those big fights in their hometown. It's been over five years since you fought in Philly. Yeah. Is that something you want next? How important would that be to kind of have such a big homecoming after all those years? Uh, fighting, fighting at home is everything to me, you know. Uh, it's... Woo! If, what if you have a, a, a Philly a, a homecoming, his first fight? Like, that's a lot of nerves. That, you just that's... alluded to that earlier. Yeah. That's a lot of nerves. Like, a lot of people don't do good in their hometown. They don't. I don't. I don't know why. You know, they just do not do good in their hometowns. They, do, like, here's the thing. Do you think? Because technically, that didn't happen with Dev. Dev did amazing in his hometown. But do you yeah. think that's because of the skill level against Regis, or do you think that like because uh, Regis just pairs up perfect with him? I you think. Know? I think that more to do with that the way t- Devin's team is ran, like. And I, I think Boots team is ran similar to to um to Devin. Like I don't feel like Boot uh, I mean uh Bozy would have him even worry about anything going out outside. Like Bozy always keep him focused and they always say Boots is the most hard working focused fighter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think it was more of a combination of Devin not really being from Oakland, like straight up. Like, he's not it really could be Oakland. that. That's a great point. He's That's not a great really point. So it was just yeah, that's where I started, fight. you know. That's a great point. Let's continue. That's where I'm from. That's where I started, you know, and and it's kind of like me giving back to the fans, you know. They, but he is from Oakland, though. His father, uh, his father <laughs> said he's from he Oakland. Said, he is from Oakland. <laughs> Let's continue. He's been waiting but this long, is. you know, uh, and I, I just can't <laughs> wait. You know, it's, it's a definitely it's definitely important to fight back at home. It's a, it's a big thing, a big deal with me. Why is that such a big deal for you? I know a lot of fans, you know, have been sticking with you for such a long time and having that opportunity now to give back to them. Why is it so important to you, do you think, to have that fight in Philly? Uh, it's very important to have a fight in Philly because they never had a big fight here in, in I don't know how long, you know, it's since back in the day. So and I feel like me being the first. Uh, I can't do it. This is like nails on the chalkboard. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm I, can't. To tell you. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm sorry, Chad. I can't do it. Y'all definitely go check it out on the zone, though. You know, um, I, I can only see him fight. Like, listen to Boots. That's going to be uh, his biggest downfall. That's going to uh, be his biggest downfall. He, dude, he needs someone. That's his blessing in the curse, though. 
that's his blessing and the curse because his talent supersedes it all. Like it just <laughs> it really does. Right. It really like, does. Yeah, I want to see him fight with God. So I don't care how boring. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. Like nobody's gonna listen to his post interview ever. Like, it, it's really bad. Uh, but salute, salute to Boots, man. He, he's he's really one of my favorites. Of, of the, I mean, he's up there somewhere. He's actually, uh, yeah. Boots is Boots is actually right there, right? Yeah. yeah right there. Yeah. He's he's one of my favorites. But salute to Boots, man. Let's continue. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, we got Ryan hitting the pads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Public workout. You see they training for that jab, to catch the jab and shoot his jab, right. Yeah. Beautiful. I see, I see Derek learned something from Bud. Yeah, the jab left hook. Yeah, Derek yeah. learned, Derek learned something from Bud. You said Derek, yeah. Hey, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Like that hook to the body. I mean, he don't look half bad, to be honest with you. He, 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 he don't look half bad. Um, I've seen Devin say that he was fat, you know, but the dude yeah, just made a little, he, little bit. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. It is 10 days out to the fight. Wait a minute. Yo, we got to do a physique update for, for, for the people tomorrow, man. For sure. That's, do that's like crazy. Him. He's carrying a lot. He carrying a lot of water. I didn't even notice that. Mm -hmm. he, he, now that's I'm about to take. Now I'm about to take a a, a deeper look because I'm like, yo, he's just not overtraining. But this dude is. He looks heavy. He he don't look dialed in. Not not the weak one. Do you think that's done on purpose so they they wait to pretty much almost like the reek up to drain the water and then put it back on so he don't feel you know, like what I would is, this a, is this a lack of way. is this a lack of discipline? I would think it would be better of him, you know, little by little by little by little. Yeah, by I agree, like one thousand percent. This dude is if he do that and he go in there with with Devin. What's going to be the difference from when he had to drain his stuff with tank? It's going to be a difference. Them, them five pounds is going to help for sure. No, I understand the five pounds are going to help. But, but the if you, way if he's you, losing it, yes. Think about what I'm saying. Thank you. The way he's going to lose it mm -hmm. is, going to, is going to cause such a drastic effect. And yeah. his body is going to have to rebound. And then you have to go in there with a, with a sharpshooter, like you alluded to earlier. Somebody that don't give nothing. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? This, yeah. that, that is, is that a cause for concern? Is he is it showing that he's not disciplined? To, I, I mean, that's one of the things he's always been accused of struggling with. I think he does look a little bit too big right now. Like right now, he look like you can see the the fat on his on his um yeah, yeah, on, yeah, his yeah. Sides, it, on his sides. It looks like he started his eight week count. Yeah, like. It looked like this exactly. It looked like this. Yeah, like it looks like he's, yeah, it right. looks like he's starting his eight weekend. He's not fat, right? When you because when you call yeah, fighters but, fat, yeah. you get what I'm saying? It's, it's a For difference. Sure. But this dude is not chiseled. Mm -hmm. He don't look like he's in fight shape. You know yeah. what I mean? He, so, he don't. He don't. And I'm gonna be real. He looked good on the like this. He looked good on the pads right this now. This is the like, best I ever seen the, him look on the pads. Exactly. This, this is, is the one best of the I've best seen I've seen. Like one of his best little pad work videos or whatever. He looked good right, right now. Right. But it shows growth. Right? After that, but after the, it'll be a whole other video where his, his feet is off the ground and he just throw it all out the window in the sparring session. It's like, bro, are you gonna stick to what you was just uh going over and? Learning but, from there, if James? you look at it, if you pay attention to whenever he's doing pad work, whenever he's doing pad work with Derek, he's disciplined. 
and mm -hmm. his form is good his fundamentals yeah. is there but then he did pad work with his dad yes i've heard so, him even say with his dad let's do something for instagram this is an instagram type of video let's do this so you got to keep that in mind too i've actually heard him say that yeah see that's the thing you can't have yes men around you right mm. because the one thing that i see with fathers that care about their sons they do the slightest thing off oh, hey hey turn over turn over that hook next time make sure you turn that hook over make sure you step to the outside and you, you get mm. you, you see what i'm saying they're giving you constructive criticism because they don't want you mm. to go out there i don't re recall the last time i heard henry garcia like that with him with, with ryan i, I just whatever don't ever want to do yeah it's almost a whatever ryan want to do that's what we're doing type of energy he get it so all right next guys we jump into the x let's go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button as we get into the news all right guys so now we are inside of the x we have um boxing the barbecue says who had the better track oh man <laughs> yo yeah, they're going in on the group. They, go, they, said, they said, who had the better track? Y'all must Jr. have forgot. Roy Jones Jr. or, or Curtis Shell. First of all, that is a boxing anthem. Like, it, it, it would never, ever be a better track, better boxing track than Roy Jones Jr. That's the like, undisputed, that's the undisputed let, chat. Uh, let, let, let's, of all cut, let's cut that out right now. We would never, ever, ever have a song that's better than that so yeah, i better Roy stop Jones. playing with alicia like she really ain't spit something on that so so we got we got alicia pump gardening with yeah glow that is funny as a as a retort to uh uh to um to clarissa shields this is so she's taunting her back with glow rilla and glow rilla glow rilla kind of ghetto fine ain't she she like she really her wrong she fine in a, in a ghetto way though you know my brother is lost, y'all. Oh, <laughs> that brother stop it. <laughs> hey, that, that was a good one. That brother, yo, she's just one of them ghetto girls. Like you just know, you know what I mean. Like you, you accent, know it. Every, the accent and everything. You, you know what I mean. But dang. she got her money up, not her funny up, so she look good now. Yeah, like she she really bought her looks. So you know, and shout out to Glow from the stoop from the from the corner from around the way. All right, so we got boxing the barbecue. Ryan Garcia said on his spaces that he has no idea what's coming for Haney during the press conference next week. Okay, he also said he has an announcement shortly after this uh, fight. No one will see coming. Any guesses as to what it is? Any guesses? Guys, you got any guesses? <laughs> guys, I'm going. Guys, I'm definitely going to let y'all do guess in the chat. I I don't, I don't get Ryan. I don't. Know I gotta what, guess. I don't know what Ryan's going to say. Hey, I'm telling you right now, it's going to be something with me, Diddy. And me. <laughs> it's going to be something with me, Diddy, and Diddy, y'all. I'm telling you, watch. He's going to do something. So to segue into B Diddy and um, <laughs> <clears throat> as of yesterday, if you caught the show, Devin Haney had a shirt of Ryan Garcia taking a knee after Javante had hit him with a nasty body shot, <laughs> it, 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 and he put the Mexican flag colors to saying by DHP, he's selling it, right? So Ryan Garcia, uh, <laughs> a fan, MMA boxing casual says when you drop more merch and then and um and it's a <laughs> it's, it's a picture with Devin Haney y'all and Diddy at the pool it's, it's a picture it's a picture with Devin Haney in the pool with P Diddy but the <laughs> face that P Diddy has is so oh my god that is so like why why did you take this picture like this you know this is not cool 80 in his 50s i don't know what what he's in but this is it ain't this no is, 50 year old man that should be taking no picture like that this is this is wow so right <laughs> says 
<laughs> Why Kanye mad at me for saying no Diddy? He lost it when he said <laughs> he he was the new Jesus. You know, I, I don't know what he meant by that. But this picture is just all right. I'm done. All right, we we're done with the ex with this. I mean, Diddy just always doing something just <laughs> weird, just throwing everything. Man, but... just man, I don't know what's going on with with Diddy, but. Guys, we appreciate all of you guys for coming in and joining us on this morning show. Um, if we help you get to your mute, go ahead and smash the like button. Ali, shuffle over to that like button, punch it, and make sure you left hook that subscribe button for more knockout content. Yeah. We appreciate you guys. If you guys enjoyed this content, make sure you get us to 1,000 subscribers. Make sure you get us to 1,000 subs. Go ahead, Sean. Yeah, man. Y'all make sure y'all tap in with me on uh, any social media. At so, at, excuse me, I changed my name. Sean Gifted now. Make sure y'all tap in with me. If y'all want me to review right. anything, me and A side to talk about something. Right. Make sure y'all send send me something. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't mind doing whatever y'all want to do. This this y'all channel as much as it ours for sure. Okay, so y'all let right. me know. So new updates will be coming as of next week. We're going to keep y'all informed, but as of now. We love you guys. Peace. We're out. Salute.